Hi, everyone. What's up? My name is Melanie Blatt, and I'm a personal trainer. And I'm going to talk a little bit about metabolism. When clients come to me and tell me they want to tone up, I hear it as, help me speed up my metabolism so I don't have to work out as much. Well, in September of 2011, I set out to demonstrate how a person can lose up to two pounds or more in a week, or about half a percent of body fat, simply by changing the way that they're eating, the timing of their eating, and their exercise regimen. With my high protein, low carb diet, I was able to walk off stage of my figure competition with a silver trophy, an arresting metabolic rate or an RMR of about 1,500 calories. Now your RMR is determined not only by your lean mass, but also your daily physical exertion. In Renee Williams' case, yes, she's 905 pounds. In Renee's Williams' case, she had an RMR of about 100 calories. Pretty much every single calorie she consumes goes right into storage. The most physically exerting exercise she does is brushing her teeth, allowing her several thousand calorie meals to go right into storage. Now you think she would eat all the time, but she actually has to often be reminded to eat. Her metabolism has come to a complete halt. Now I've been throwing around this word metabolism, but what does it actually mean? Can you control it? Or are you doomed to a slow metabolism from birth until the day you die? Well, I have some fantastic news. There are ways you can speed up your metabolism, and it's as simple as understanding that not all calories are created equal. In fact, it takes your body five times the amount of energy to burn protein as it does fat. Take a look at those numbers up there. So each, each uh, calorie has a different density. So these macronutrients, you can have twice the amount of carbs or protein to amount to match the caloric density of fat. Now, I'm not saying eat pure protein and not work out. That's not going to work. So if you have, if you have uh, protein in your diet, that is going to help speed up your metabolism. Protein is going to help you re rebuild and repair muscles. Carbs are your main source of energy. And fats are going to be keeping you satiated. Now, every 10 pounds of muscle that you have, your body burns an additional 3,500 calories per week. That's a pound of fat. And that is 3,500 calories that you don't need to cut from your diet. Think about how much, how much protein this guy had to eat. It's really important when you're thinking about protein, getting that into your diet. I hear people every single day, they're like, oh, yeah, I don't need protein, I don't wanna get big. If you don't have protein in your diet, you're not going to lose any weight in there. So there's something called interval training. And you can see up here how you're working your heart. You're working your heart just like you work every other muscle in your body, making it contract for about 30 seconds and then having a lower contraction for about 30 seconds. Interval training is going to speed up your metabolism for two to three days. Now, your metabolism is like a furnace in your body. And if you want to have maximum energy output, and regulate that energy output, you've got to feed it several times throughout the day. Having three meals, that's for movies. That's not something that's realistic. If you think about a baby and how much a baby eats during a day, it, you, you think like it's eating every single three hours. So just by eating every three hours, you're going to speed up your metabolism. In a study done on 20 males, they consumed two shots of vodka and saw a 73% decrease in their metabolism. Yeah, I wasn't drinking out there, but that's just me. I'm not saying never drink alcohol, but if you have a glass of wine on Wednesday and you drink one night during the weekend, you're slowing your metabolism 73% for your entire week. And you're not going to lose those five pounds hanging just below your belly button with drinking alcohol. In short, Changing your diet is not something that happens overnight. It takes baby steps. But just by listening to these recommendations and understanding that you can make these small changes to your diet and make better decisions, like not skipping breakfast or not having two beers with dinner, you can definitely speed up your metabolism and get to that point where you want to be. Now remember, you are not a victim of your metabolism. You are the controller. So stand up and take a change and make a change or your metabolism is going to come to a complete halt, just like Renee's did that we saw earlier. And remember, take a stand 
or you're going to slow your metabolism down and you're not going to get to those goals. Thank you for lending an ear and congratulations on making your first step to a healthier existence. <laughs>